G'day everyone, back again with yet another Winchester restoration. This is a 3840, which I've recently restored with a brand new stock in Walnut, pistol grip conversion, 3840 octagonal barrel with a full length magazine conversion. Um, I've even, sorry about the shade, I've even uh, made my own little brass top sight there, which I'm just in the middle of uh, finishing off. I'm going to take a little bit more brass off it. It was actually um, bronze, not brass. I uh, bronze welded a small amount of filler rod onto the top of the sight and I filed it down into a shape, giving it a light polish, but it's still a little bit too large for me. I'm going to make it a little bit more smaller. It's kind of like a marble sight in that respect. And a little gold bead, which I quite like. Um, you may notice that there's no magazine hanger. Um, I'd like to get some magazine hangers and install them on these guns, but finding magazine hangers has proven to be incredibly hard, as well as fabricating them. Um, I actually did the uh, pistol grip conversion to this rifle so the lower tang's been bent there's been an angle uh, drilled through the tang and re-threaded to take the uh, brand new uh, tang screw um, obviously I had to bend and reshape the lever um, I also had to make an extended screw for the hammer spring uh, so to allow the hammer spring to, uh, it actually comes out at a straight angle still, but there's a spacer and an extended screw. So it operates at the same tension. It's just uh, needing a little bit more recessing in the stock to make it work. I'm really proud of how it's coming along. Um, there's a little bit of gunk on it because I've um, smeared some oil on it, but um, it's it's turned out really nice. I'm actually looking at potentially trying to install a, either a peep sight or, if I can get it, a vintage Winchester 6 or 8 times scope. Um, these aren't traditional scopes. They actually mount uh, sometimes through an additional dovetail or sometimes through the original dovetail. Um, so there's these really old Winchester scopes that you can fit to these rifles and I just think they look really cool because they're almost period correct for these rifles um, when you think about when these uh, old guys were putting the scopes on the rifles they they were pretty much ahead of their time so I thought it would be really nice to have one to, to mount onto one of my nicer rifles and this one is one of my nicer rifles uh, I'm still yet to do the checkering. This will have checkering in the original Winchester pattern. So the original Winchester pattern follows a fine edge at the top, then follows roughly the same line as the, the grip. It'll follow the line down to a, a straight corner here and then a rounded edge here, then go up and have a, a V section up here. So that's the original style of the checkering at the grip. And the forend uh, starts off straight at the top, but then comes down to a point, comes down to a point, uh, and there's straight lines dividing each checkering panel. So it's going to need some careful marking out, but uh, this will get checkering. And um, like I said, hopefully some sort of additional sight, because uh, I think this is you know this this rifle's by no means original. Originally, this rifle was a uh, half mag uh, straight grip in 3840 so the changes I've made are, are not original and almost all the parts including the uh, end cap here uh, the end cap screw which I haven't, haven't quite taken off enough to get it flush yet but that's easy I just have to remove a bit of the screw and uh, screw it in deeper once I do that it will be at the correct depth um, so almost all these parts I've had to fabricate um, a lot of them, the screws for the for the pistol grip conversion, the uh, the magazine conversion, a lot of stuff I've had to fabricate. Um, and yeah, no, I, 
I try and make it as close as I can to original, so it's hard to pick. But yeah, uh, hopefully I'll be uh, doing a video of shooting this one at the range soon. So stay tuned for the next one.